John Norris, everybody. <laughs> you're you're an ex comedian. In addition, uh, in addition to being buff, is also a published author. He wrote Naked Lunch. No, that's someone else. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Burroughs. Statement because they're talking about like like fisting people and stuff. Obviously, it doesn't seem bad when I do it because if you can't tell, I got pretty little fists. <laughs> it's just like I have a nub, it doesn't even look like, like a hand. But um, I, I don't have a joke like that. There's nothing in my repertoire, but what I do want to, to do is I want to share an actual story that happened to me that may be in the same vein of the aristocrats joke. So I like to gamble. I went to Atlantic City, it was a true story. I get off the bus. Dude walks up to me, he hands me his card. He's like, we are, we're recruiting in town. You should come on down and check us out at the hotel. It'll be free food. I want to gamble. That's what I came there for. So I'm getting my gamble on, lose my money quick, out on the boardwalk, want to buy some funnel cake, don't got any money, but what I do have is this card that this guy gave me. Card says XX video, adult videos, I don't know what it is, I'm hungry, I want shrimp scan, he said there's going to be some there. <laughs> so I, it's a true story, I get in this place and fancy, you need like a card just to get in the elevator, fancy. Get up in this place, unload my plate up, there's shrimp scampi, this guy's not a liar. I'm sitting at the table, and he goes, without even hesitating, so would you say your penis curves up or down? <laughs> the way I tried to answer this, you would have thought he asked me about somebody else's penis. <laughs> Like, I completely forgot about what my penis looked like because I was so distraught from this question, but, you know, I don't know if it's a guy thing, but there's a little piece inside of me, could have been my stomach, that's like, don't mess this up for us. <laughs> Your bus isn't for another two hours and there's still more shrimp on the table. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, you know, uh, I, I guess it curves to the right, you know, depending on what I'm wearing, you know. <laughs> Second question, I'm not making any of up. He goes, uh, just curious, out of the three cups on the table, which one could you fill up? <laughs> now, I'm basing this off the first question. Like, he's not talking about orange <laughs> juice, which is what I did fill one of the cups up with, and I felt bad about it afterwards because I drank it. Oh, oh yeah. No, there was nothing in the cup. It was empty. It wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I can fill up probably, you know, the smallest cup. He's like, that's not a problem. He's writing things down. <laughs> and he's like, would you say your balls go back and forward? 
when you hit it doggy style or I would assume so because if your balls can go right to left when you're moving back and forth you deserve that contract you, that is, and they call it the aristocrats right? yeah balls are a strange thing you know? no if you really think about it, like I work out a lot, and um, I take naked pictures of me sometimes. <laughs> Some of you have obviously gotten those pictures. <laughs> but no matter how hard I work out, in firm I get my balls are still sagging. <laughs> oh man. I like had so much to talk about with the crowd but I cannot see a damn thing with these lights. Uh, I'm gonna assume that this is a guy and a girl in front of me, right? Good assumption. Thank you, sir. Are you two a couple? Yes. I could tell. <laughs> no, this is not bad. Like, I can, like even though it's dark, I can see that you've lost all will. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, because listen, I'm seeing somebody too, so I know that look. <laughs> the difference is I'm single at heart though. And by that I don't mean I'm like seeing a bunch of other women, I'm out having my phone. What I mean is whatever you do, I don't know how long you've been together, keep your individuality. Keep it. Whatever that edge was that made her like you, that Tony the Tiger that's in you, that thing that's great, keep it. <laughs> Most dudes, they got the his and hers towels, not me and my lady. It says mine and hers. <laughs> <laughs> we go out to eat, and we'll share an appetizer because I'm kind of cheap. Um, <laughs> but when she tells the lady we want ranch, I call her back over and I'm like, I'll take blue cheese with mine. This isn't a date, you know? <laughs> You gotta do that. Like, like I look at you and I'm happy for you. Um, I can say that out loud, but in my mind I'm thinking, better you than me. Um, <laughs> it's like when you go, like I go to the zoo a lot, and I like to see the wolverines. Wouldn't like to get close to them though, because uh, they fight a lot, they'd be bad. <laughs> Could get scratched. <laughs> The weird part is that's not where the lab was supposed to come when I wrote that joke, but I'll take it. <laughs> Gotta rewrite it now. Uh, yeah, I I talk a lot about taking uh, dumps. <laughs> Very sexy. Uh, I, I just have a hard time doing it in public places, though. Not because... I'm shy, it just always sounds like the person in the stall next to me is taking a much more interesting dump. <laughs> and I like this place though, because they don't have the automated toilets. <laughs> no, because here's the thing, some of them, some of them are just too fast, you know? <laughs> like I get up and the turd's gone. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but you know, I want to see what the fuss was about. <laughs> I want to see my work, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I am um, going to be looking for work soon. Uh, <laughs> glad you all showed up, and not because I get a percentage of endorsements. <laughs> Could have had a lot of other things to do tonight. Um, glad you spent it with us. Now, you notice uh, lots of times at comedy shows, we obviously don't make a lot of money, so in the back, afterwards, I'm going to be selling some of my shirts. <laughs> Not like comedy shirts, just actual shirts that don't fit me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> sweet! <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. I'm going to put that in the notes. That was good. <laughs> I, uh... I do have relationship material that I like to talk about because I'm pretty sure not everybody is like me and you, sir. They don't have someone in their lives. Uh, if you're young and you're out there, I want you to take this from me. 
if you see a girl, she has no kids, <laughs> and she's never been married, stay away from her. <laughs> There's a reason that she's never been married, and she don't have any kids. They'll get you to do crazy things. Um, no, seriously, like staying away from people that have never been married, don't have kids. Uh, shit, look at me, I'm married, I've never been married, I don't have any kids, and I don't think anybody would ever want to take me home to meet their mother. Uh, like, I'm not a good, I'm not a good boyfriend. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't share my food. I don't hold in my farts. <laughs> like, all the things that a boyfriend is supposed to do, I, I don't do them. I just, I just stay at home and I watch The Walking Dead, uh, watch a lot of YouTube and stuff. And I can tell that there's a lot of Walking Dead fans out here. What do you, when you miss The Walking Dead, it sucks, right? It's awful. Thank you. <laughs> See, that, that's, I like her. She's coming to every show. The rest of you, I don't know. <laughs> You were with me up until we talked about farting, and now you don't know the TV. <laughs> one of the number one watch shows, but nobody at Coots watches it. Yeah, I, I can tell this is a classy crowd. I can tell. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> To the people that have been born here, that was normal, but to the people that are transplants, that's Alaska, isn't it? Classy as fuck. <laughs> Only place you can go to is sit on the Donkey Kong barrels. Go <laughs> <laughs> to see that new movie Pixels up in here. I, you know what, sir? Even though I look at you, like I said, I can tell, you know, your individuality is going on. Um, no, I have a leash too. She put you in that shirt tonight? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said it loud too. When I asked if he was in a relationship, he was quiet. But... <laughs> clever, clever. The thing is, it's weird too. Like, like I said, keep your individuality because I find it weird that all the things that a woman likes about you when they meet you, they want to change once they have been with you. Oh, it's so cute that you're gonna wait until you, you know, meet the right person, get married and you don't have any kids. A couple weeks later, we should have a kid. <laughs> like, all those things, sir, I felt like I was on top of the world. Like I said, I had no kids, still don't, was never married, and women would tell me, that's so rare, that's so unique, and it went to my head. Like, I felt like, like I was some type of man unicorn, pretty much, you know? Because you know unicorns, they're magical, but they're only magical because you don't travel. <laughs> now I'm just like a horse with a bone in the middle of my head. <laughs> I've messed that order up somewhere. It's normally a little funnier than that. He was there. Um, so, I have... I have no 
another embarrassing story I'd like to share with you guys, because I feel like anything that we talk about tonight is, is going to stay in this room. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Really? <laughs> I, I just want whoever to, that comes up after me, not don't mess with the guy in the front. Like he's made fun of me for my plaid shirt, and he has a plaid shirt on. <laughs> that is that is the audacity. Um, oh, that's cool. You guys are taping this show. I just waved it myself. <laughs> I do want to try something different tonight, just because I'm having a a great time out here. If you ever notice, comedians will tell you, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, they'll give you all that information and stuff like that. I don't normally do that because I feel like there's more important things going on in the world that you should use social media for. <laughs> so don't follow any of them, follow me. Because <laughs> I need lives on Candy Crush. <laughs> Stuck on the level. <laughs> Eat a new lollipop hammer. Uh, but no, after the show, I would really, really, really like it because I don't come out that much. I occasionally take selfies at shows because I like the way my pictures come out. Find me. Take a picture with me. Can you do that? Yeah. I want to remember tonight. I want you to remember tonight. Uh, I will even give you my Instagram so you can... You know, like your own picture and maybe tag yourself. <laughs> you know, when I wrote it, it didn't sound that creepy. <laughs> so, I, I'm also dabbling into trying to get into some musical related comedy. So I'd like to try something on you guys that I've worked on uh, a while ago. Anybody remember that song Kenny Rogers had called The Gambler? Yeah. Like, if you haven't noticed by yet, I'm a nice comedian. You can talk to me. You, can, you know, you don't own the TV, you don't watch The Walking Dead. Only one lady knows The Gambler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this song Kenny Rogers had, it's called The Gambler. And the premise of this song is this guy gives him this prolific advice. you got to know when to hold him. No one to fold him. But then when I think about the lyrics of the song, I don't think he was a credible person to give that advice. <laughs> I can think about it. On a train bound for nowhere, I met up with a gambler. He's not even in first class. Like most trains go places, but it goes nowhere. But as the song goes on, I'm thinking, he's not a good gambler. He's actually a bum. <laughs> Because think about it, if, if I gave you good advice, and that's what I did, I'm going to charge you, not this guy. So I handed him my bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. <laughs> then he bummed a cigarette and asked me for a light. <laughs> Bombs do that. That's <laughs> There's one pity left, but I'll take it. I'm just curious, I have not been watching the time today. How am I doing? Good. Good? Oh, light's on. All right. Yeah, I have, no, the light usually means I have to wrap it up. I don't have to. Let's go. I'm bad at that. So I will uh, close on two jokes that I don't want to close on. Uh, like back in the same vein of musical comedy. Uh, anybody know music has changed a lot, right? Yep. It's, it's crazy. Like back in my day, in a song, a guy could do the things in the song and he could wow his lady. Like, I'm a friend with a plaid. In the 1920s? I was not in the 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> Pick on me. Pick on me again. Bro, I don't want to pick on me again. Sure. <laughs> no, but you think about it, right? Like, uh, you were around boys to men. Your time. You got a bunch of assholes. <laughs> I'm just 
throwing it out there. I'm going to finish it anyway. So, the beginning of the song, the guy, if you haven't heard it, the guy's like, uh, close your eyes. Because you can tell that to your lady, right? Yes. He can, trust me. And it's like, make a wish. Because somebody else in there, you, uh, next to the pole, you can tell your lady to make a wish. That's possible, right? And then like, and blow out the candle lights. Because you can tell that to her. Candle right there, you can tell her to blow it out. I'll turn the radio on today. I'll catch a grenade for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my name is David Burroughs. That's my town. You've been a wonderful crowd. Thank you.